Okay, guys and gals, for this video, I'm going to attempt to remove this manual trigger from our ransom rest, and I'm going to install the remote trigger. And the idea behind the remote trigger is uh, it sets the shooter back uh, approximately four feet. Um, it's, it's, it's a safety deal. So if you're working up a new load and, you know, you, you don't want to have it in your hand, you put it in this and you're set to go. It's actually a, a pretty neat system. So before uh, we switch this over, just a, a little overview uh, for those who are new to the channel. The ransom rest, what it is, is it it takes the place of the human hands. What we're trying to do is we're, we're developing a load and we want to see uh, how tight we're grouping. Okay, so what you do is you remove the grips from the handgun. Now, this ransom rest, it becomes the integrated grip. And what you do, uh, round by round, you send each round down range. So each time you fire a shot, you have recoil. When you're ready to make the next shot, you would bring it down like that. The whole idea is now it's returned the muzzle to pretty doggone close to the same spot it was when it pulled its last shot. That's the whole idea behind the ransom rest. So uh, with that in mind, uh, now let's go ahead and uh, double check our revolver. I've been working with this out here on the back of my truck for a little while. So uh, I, I know it's not loaded, but you guys don't know. And now you know it's not loaded. So this is uh, this is how it works. This is your your manual trigger, and so you would uh, cock the handgun, pull the trigger. Ideally, you want to come in as low on the trigger as you can. Okay, that that's ideal. You also want this far enough forward that when you cock it, the trigger really doesn't uh, come into firm contact. This has a, a soft uh, rubber cover so uh, you just want to try and avoid that. So you just you have to work with that a little bit. So what do you say we go ahead and remove the manual uh, trigger and we'll get we'll get the uh, remote set up. So here we go. So uh, first off we're going to remove these two back nuts. These two back nuts uh, work with those two knobs. These knobs over here, they are what you loosen to remove the grips. Now, it's uh, it, it's starting to rain, but I, I'm not too worried about that because, uh, well, you know, this Ruger has got a serial number of 9120. It's, it's a bit, a bit of a collector, and uh, as you see, it's getting rained on, but it doesn't matter because uh, I keep it well oiled and uh, I keep uh, my guns clean so even though it's sitting here getting wet when I get down I go in take it apart wipe it down clean it up be good to go so I'm not too worried about that uh, that's one thing when you're out hunting in the elements and it starts raining no problem just keep going as far as this ransom getting wet I'm not really too worried about that I don't know if it's going to really affect the grips but uh, I don't think it's going to be a big deal so now remember off the manual trigger cap nut first brass washer spring and the second brass washer and now this entire assembly slides out and if we wanted to we could have removed that screw and this piece out before you removed everything however you want to do that. So now I'll set that uh, entire contents aside. Uh, being careful this is all connected. Now we're going to bring this portion into play. And as you see Ransom has this set up to where it's uh, kind of plug and play, self-explanatory. So we'll uh, take our cap screws. So uh, while I'm putting this together, I'll say something to the viewers. You know, I, I collect these uh, old Ruger three screws, and I, I do take care of them. I do. 
but I also treat them like I'm going to use them. Uh, I have a few uh, firearms in my safe that I guess you could call a safe queen, but uh, really, I, I really can't say that too much because if I buy a gun, I pretty much shoot it. I have a couple I haven't shot because they're oddball calibers, and uh, I guess when I get around to it, I'll load for them and shoot them. Uh, and I've shot them before, kind of like a 3220. I've shot 3220. So it's not like I'm just dying to shoot the 3220 so bad that I'm going to break down and spend the money on it. But I think you see what I'm saying. I have a, a lot of firearms uh, in, in my safe that uh, are in great condition, but, but I shoot them. Uh, I shoot them. And uh, when I pick one of these Rugers up and uh, they're in great condition, I shoot them. And it's what I do but you still take care of them so remember you have you have the trigger arm then you put the brass washer the spring and the second brass washer onto position like that and now if I can do all this at once then we put this cap screw on we thread it on it's kind of like that. Now, what I'm going to do, trying to keep a little organization with my tools here, I'm just going to run that cap screw on by hand like that. And, uh, you know, you can snug it up a, a, a little, but you want to make sure you have movement. You don't want to seize that up. So now, if I come over here like this, you see we have movement. So now what we have to do this piece. And this, uh, well, I kind of think this is a, a big part of the science because you don't you want to avoid I'll come in from this side you want to avoid being high up on the trigger you want to be as low as you can and uh, somewhere centered but you want to avoid that but you only have so much room to work with so just do the best that you can so I have basically uh, if you can see this I can't see my screen it's so bright I have two thread positions you gotta pick one uh, this first thread position Nope, not going to work. Um, my hands are probably going to block my view, but I, I think you guys will pretty much see how this works. So you can, you can move this uh, pretty much any way you want it. It's a very brilliant design. Now, I just have it lightly on there. I'm going to cock it. That trigger is not making contact. I actually have a, a little room to work with. <laughs> now let's cock it and let's see if we... No, that's, that's just right. I mean, it's just making a little contact, but it's rubber it's not enough it's, it's not affecting anything you wouldn't want too much okay you don't want to put that as wear on the action of the revolver it's got to uh, have freedom to move just like that and I could probably come in I, I would say when you're setting this part of it up. I would really take your time. Uh, be kind of finicky. Work with it at home. Make sure, make sure that's not loaded, right? And now let's make sure. Okay, I, I'm connecting there, and I don't want that.
Hey, 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 finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger. That's a funny, huh? This is awesome. So now I'm going to step back about four feet. I'm behind my truck. And I pull the trigger. So, so now um, uh, I'm going to back the camcorder off just a little bit. I'm going to do this in a very scientific way. How's that for scientific? Technology is so awesome. You guys see how I move that with modern day technology? Wow. So there we go. So now as you can see, if 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 I want to go out of my way to begin moving this and moving the truck, yeah, I can move it. But how this system works is it's going to settle where it wants to naturally settle. So now all we're going to do is this is it. And it'll recoil. And what I've noticed is uh, I was messing with around with this without the revolver and I was forcing it back as fast as I could. The weight of the truck, lengthways, it absorbs it. The truck really doesn't move. And the truck, what movement you have, it settles out fast. So actually, I think that this system's going to work very effectively. And uh, so what's nice now is uh, my wife, Miss Highboy, she can sit in the chair, kick back in the shade, and she can run the trigger, I can run the setup, and you guys can watch the action. That's how it will work. So there we go. So guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. We'll see you on the next.